Good morning. If you go on to read the letter which I've enclosed with this messenger post, I would like you to take into account my views on the same. I believe it is classic right-wing thinking. It uses a lot of science, but also a few assumptions to link the science together, which are highly questionable. It does not take account of the fact that the worst or even worse predictions that could have happened were so serious that locking down was a sensible reaction, even if it proves that it was maybe, to some extent, possibly an overreaction. As for New Zealand, the facts moving on from here are the rest of the world, or most of the rest of the world uh, that we trade with, did shut down. Irrespective of what we did here, our main business of tourism is devastated. No, nothing could change that. That's, that's purely to do with outside factors. The fact that the rest of the world is in trouble as well, and airlines won't be running, and borders will be closed. It is, again, irrespective of what we do. It also ignores some of the good that's come out of the shutdown, although it's uh, undeniably there's a lot of bad and, and stress and anxiety. The good that's come out is it has actually highlighted some of our major social problems and it will now give an impetus for governments supported by the people to attempt to address those social problems. And, and as for business, if this tragic event prompts business in New Zealand to take an incentive to improve productivity by uh, using the great skills that we have rather than people carry on making money by fraud and basically the attitude that whatever I can get from somebody else is good, I think we'll see a better world. Well, that's my view. Now you can read.